Hello everyone, in today's video we will set up a merchant. We'll have a look at how the system and its UI work. The goal here is to have a merchant that sells what we want him to sell and look at how this can be customized. In order to create this we will need Unity, Game Creator and the Inventory module. So let's dive in. So I have a really simple scene set up. I'm not really using much here. So we have a player, it can be a default player, it can be a player you already set up or one of the ones from my tutorial. I have two meshes here to create a table, which are simply two cubes and a stack of money. Now the stack of money is just a bunch of cylinders stacked together and that's supposed to be money. So nothing special, um, but yeah, at least something to represent money. So what we're going to do here is first up where before we start creating our merchants, I am going to set up uh, a currency for us to use. So I already had a trigger here, remove that just to really start from the beginning. Let's do input. And we have um, mouse key. Left. There we go. On left mouse click. So that's what we're going to use here. Single click. Now this will need a collider. So we're going to add our sphere collider here. Which is really not in the right place. So let's make sure it is. go and that seems about right not entirely not gonna lie but good enough let's make sure this is a trigger now this is something that we want to be able to pick up but then it needs to disappear from the actual scene so we will move to our inventory and that's where it needs to stay so no longer in our scene the way to do this is to make sure that the actions are actually part of the item itself. So let's add actions here. Not sure this can be done. No, unfortunately not. But we can do it like this. There we go. So we have our actions here and these actions will be really simple. We are simply going to Oh, if this actually opens up, there we go. Go to inventory and add currency. So we're going to add 200 here. You can add whatever you want, just as long as you have enough to actually buy something in your shop. Now the default items I'll be using are 100 each. So I just have enough to buy them both. Now after this, we need to make sure we toggle destroy after finishing because we want to make sure the gold actually disappears once we pick it up. Otherwise you can simply keep clicking and you'll have an endless amount of money. So we definitely do not want that. So next up is our merchant. So we'll create a new character. There we go. Going to drag him here. Don't want to run halfway through the scene just to find him. There we go. Now I'm not going to do anything special here with the character, so he'll just use his idol, but you can, you know, change states, you know, get creative. I'm uh, I'm fine the way it is right now. And I'm going to create a new empty here, which will be merchant which will be our trigger another left mouse click now you don't have to do that you can have it be an actual on player enter with the collision it's completely up to you I'm just going to keep it with the mouse clicks I'm going to do a capsule collider here there we go and I'm going to move our collider to actually be close to the actual character here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it's 
about right. There we go. Cool. So as long as you click here, you'll open up will be opening up the merchant. So we need to add some actions. This time they don't need to be part of the item itself. They can just be a child of what we're creating. So that's pretty nice. Now the action is a really simple one. We go to inventory and we open up merchant UI. Now we don't have one yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to create one. Um, for now, I'm just going to drop it in my behaviors folder. No, it's not really supposed to be there, but this works. So go to create, game creator, inventory, and merchant. I'm going to call this shop for weapons. It's a bit long, but. Weapon shop is the title. Sells weapons. And we need to add wares. Now I'm going to add a sword and a pistol. You can add whatever you want. It's just for demonstration. He will have one of each, not more. If you remove limit amount, he'll be infinitely able to sell. Now, if you do not add a UI, it will use the default game creator UI, which is completely fine. Nothing wrong with that. You can change the purchase percentage um, this can be a list variable that can be adjusted uh, depending on certain skills for example the default values are 1 and 0 0.8 I'm just going to keep it like this but it's interesting to know that you can use variables to change these amount based on skills you can unlock for example which is really cool so I'm going to look up our merchant UI here this is the default one, so this is the one game creator uses by default. Let's have a look at how that looks. I'm going to rename this Merchant UI Weapons. Let's open this up, and here we have our UI. Now, I know I need to make it slightly smaller in order for it to fit between my health and power bar so I'll make it slightly smaller here it's default width is 1200 I'm going to make it a thousand this then will need to be 500 and the player side needs to be 500 as well I'm going to make a simple use a simple square here Make it black, semi-transparent, yes, 70, 70 is fine. Now, you can change all of this as well. I'm going to change the font here, regular and regular. Now the merchant name is not something you need to adjust, that's quite important. The merchant name is literally going to be the name we gave to that merchant UI. So that's a dynamic text, so you know, don't go through the trouble of entering a name here. That will be pointless. The header is something we can change. So I have a couple here. Um, let's... Outline buttons. I'm going to use this one. It's nothing special, but it's not even the best fit. But it's just to make sure it looks slightly different. Same with the player header. Use the same one. And I want to change the handle to a different button as well. So I'm not doing anything exciting here, but it's just to show you can again customize everything you want to customize which is pretty cool now I'm going to leave it like that I'm going to go back to this one we're going to add, open up our shop for weapons there we go 
go to locate this one again and make sure our UI is used. So it was merchant UI weapons. There we go. So right now we have our money and we have our shop. So let's see if all of this is already functional and if we need to do something else. Now, obviously this capsule collider should be a trigger. So good that I spotted that just before playing. And let's give this a go. So now let's try this out. So we're picking up our money, it disappears. When we open up our inventory, we will see we have 200 coins right now, which is good. Let's go to that shop. And he sells two weapons. We have our own UI. Again, nothing special. Just wanted to show how you can customize it. Go to buy both here. Let's close this. Go to our inventory and we can equip our own weapon and there you have it really simple really basic way to start with your merchant and obviously you know it's important to point out that if it's a merchant that actually walks around and not a static one make sure this merchant is actually a child of the character and that way you can make sure it actually walk goes with him around the scene so that's it really. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.